Hey guys, it's Jordan and so today I'm going to show you how to make your own DIY soda tab leather purse and this is really cute and really easy and you can save up your soda tabs yourself or you can buy them on Etsy and I will leave a link in the down bar below so let's just get started. So you're going to start off by taking your soda tabs and you're going to want to make sure to wash them obviously or you can buy them online. And I think I used about 60 soda tabs to make this purse but you can use however many you want. So what I first started doing is organizing them the way that I wanted them to be on my purse. So I did it 12 along the top and 5 along the sides and I made sure that they could overlap each other. Then you're going to set that aside and take out your leather and I just got this on eBay or Amazon or someplace like that and I can leave a link down below. Then I'm cutting six different strips of the leather and I'm making them a few inches longer than the width of all the soda tabs. Then I know this part is kind of hard to see, but basically I just sectioned off the top layer of the soda tabs so I, could, so I could use them easier. And then I'm going to be taking one of the leather strips and kind of weaving them in and out. So I go over and through the first one, then under and through the second one, and under and through the third one, then over and through, over and through, under and through, under and through. So I do each type twice if that makes any sense and then when it's done it kind of looks like a sewing kind of pattern um, it's kind of hard to explain but you'll kind of see it and then you can also once as you're doing that you can kind of straighten them out so it's easier to see then when you're done with the first layer it should look something like this and you can kind of move them to where you want them to be and then it would help a lot if you had some tape or something like that to tape down the edges for the next part because that part gets a little bit more difficult then you're just going to want to take the next layer of the soda tabs and put them right under the ones you already have and this will just make it a lot easier and then carefully do the same exact thing that you were doing before and weave it in and out but except do the opposite so where you went in last time you're going to go out and when you went out you're going to go in so you're kind of doing you're switching the order and you're making it look more like actual like sewing kind of and instead of sewing through just one hole you're going to be sewing through the bottom of the first soda tab and the top of the second layer of soda tabs and it's kind of difficult to get the hang of it but I'm sure you will and yeah and then just continue this until the whole row is completed and another thing that might help is taping down the sides of the leather strips and that will just help it so it will stay down and not kind of get messed up as much. And then basically just continue this process until all of the strips are completed and you have sewn in all of your soda tabs and yeah. This part can be a little tedious and take a little while, but if you're watching TV or listening to music or something like that, it can kind of shorten the process a little bit. So now I'm taking my last and final strip of leather and waving it through the rest of the soda tabs. So now I'm just taking off the tape and removing it from my desk. Then I'm going to be using my leather and measuring out a rectangle using the rectangle of the soda tabs. And I'm making it at least two inches bigger on every side so it's easier for the next part. Then I'm taking some E6000 glue because this glue works so well and I'm just going to glue down on one of the sides where I want the soda tabs to be and I'm just kind of filling the whole thing with glue and I covered the whole thing a bunch of times to make sure that it would stick well and yeah. 
And then very carefully, I'm just taking my soda tabs and laying them right on top of the glue. And then after they're on top, I'm kind of fixing them and making sure I put them the way I like them. And then I also kind of, when I put it down, I put it a little bit to the one side. It's better if you put it in the middle, but I just ended up cutting off part of the other side to make it even. So it ended up okay. Then with the rest of that leather, I'm going to be adding a lot more of the E6000 glue and then folding that side over. Then I'm just going to be putting a heavy book on it. I'm just putting one of my textbooks on it and leaving it for it to dry about an hour or so. And then I'll get back to you when that's dry. Okay, so now I'm cutting just one more small strip of leather, and I'm just going to be trying my best to tie this into a bow. And this was really difficult for me because I'm kind of a perfectionist, so it took me a long time, and I didn't even do it on camera because I had help from other people, and I just kind of made it the way that I liked it. But you can do whatever you want, make your bow your way, it just kind of, just tie a shoe basically. Once you're happy with your bow, just take a little bit more of the E6000 glue and put it in the middle of the leather strip and then take your bow and stick it right on and you can trim off the extra little tails of the bow. So now my bow looks like this and I'm just going to be taking off the tape on the pieces of leather and then trimming the pieces of leather afterwards. Then using the E6000 glue, I'm going to be gluing right on top of those leather strips and around it on one half of the side. And then taking my scissors, I'm snipping off a little piece right there so I can fold over that flap without the rest of the purse needing to be folded over. And then I'm going to actually fold it over carefully and this is a little bit difficult which is why I like to use a pencil or something else to kind of help and guide it as I fold it down. And as you can see, I'm using the clip from a clipboard to kind of hold it down, which helps a lot. You can also use, I don't really know what they're called, but they're like little paper clip kind of things, paper holdings. I don't, I don't know what they're called, but they're right there and you can see them. And I use that for the other side. And you're also going to want to trim the other side to make it even with that side if you haven't done that already. And basically just repeat the same step that I just did with the other side. So when you're done it should look something like this and I'm just going to be taking my leather and placing it on top and using it kind of as a measurement for how big I want the purse to be. So depending on how big I want it to be I'm going to double that length so I can fold it over easily. And I'm just using chalk to draw it out and then just cutting it out when I'm done. Then I'm just cutting the sides that are uneven and trying to make it as even as I can and making sure it's the size that I want it to be. Next, I'm taking the flap and the piece that I just cut out and put the right sides together and then pin it across. You can also glue this instead of sewing if you prefer, but I just thought it was easier to sew it and it looks more professional and kind of clean, I guess. So yeah, I'm just putting that across and then sewing it with a straight stitch um, all the way across that side. So now it should look something like this and you're just going to want to remove the pins and then cut the excess um, fabric that you don't want hanging there and that part is done. The next part is kind of hard to see and I apologize for that but basically I'm just cutting a little square on the underside of the flap on each side of the flap. Then taking the rest of that square, I'm just going to be adding a little bit of E6000 glue and folding it down. And this just creates a cleaner edge and it looks a lot neater. While you're waiting for that to dry, the next part is the strap. And this part is optional because you can make yours into a clutch or you can add a strap to it. So I'm adding a strap to mine. So basically, however long I want the strap to be, I'm just going to add an extra foot or so. and 
Then depending on how long I want it, I'm just going to be cutting three strips that length and taping them to the desk and then braiding them all the way to the very end. Then we're going to set that down for a second and take our purse again and I fold it down an inch on the inside of the purse and this just kind of hems it and makes it look better and so I'm sewing all across that. Then I folded the purse in the middle with the little flap hanging out and making sure the right sides are together and then I'm pinning each side and sewing across. Okay, so now it should look something like this and I'm just trimming off all of the extra little thread pieces. And now comes a time where we can attach the strap if you want to. So I'm attaching the strap to the inside of each side of the purse. And I'm just laying it down and then sewing across like that. And you're also going to want to go back and forth across the stitch about two or three times or more if you want to because you don't want the stitch to fall out and you want it to make sure to be strong enough so you can actually carry things and not break. So now that one side is done, it should look like this, and I had tape on it from where I taped it onto the table. And so first I'm actually taking out the pin, and then I'm cutting off the taped part. I'm just going to sew the second part the same way I did the first one. And one thing you want to watch out for is when you sew the second part of the strap is to make sure that it's straight for, because you don't want it twisted when it's like on your shoulder. So you want to make sure it's totally straight before you sew it down. Okay, so now your purse is almost done. All you have to do is cut off the extra leather and tape parts. And then if you want to add some Velcro, you can stick it down on the flap and the part that goes right under the flap so it can just stick down. And once you've done that, your purse is completed. And this is also great as a clutch as well. And it works for either. And yeah, I think it's super cute and super awesome that you can actually make it using soda tabs that you've collected. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I hope you find it useful. And if you guys do this DIY yourself, please send me a picture on Instagram or Twitter and hashtag HowToBuyJordan or HowToBuyJordanDIY and I will make sure to like it. And yeah, don't forget to like this video and I'll see you all later. Bye. Hey guys, you have two options. A, click this box to check out one of my other videos. Or B, click the bouncing subscribe button for more awesome DIY and beauty videos.